Drake and I are taking maternity photos today because baby will be here in a few weeks, which is insane. We have never taken maternity photos, but never ends now. Check it out. Okay. Some of you may recognize this is where we took our engagement pictures in our first look video. So I'm gonna set up a cute little thing. Drake's all the way over there getting more pillows. <laughs> and we're gonna have a photo shoot. I gotta like figure out how to make this look like a cozy little area. It's gonna like put me into labor. Hilarious. That would be terrible actually. <laughs> we don't want her to come yet. My wonderful hubby has returned. What do you think of the setup so far? I think we need dinner. This would be a fun dinner date. We'll have to do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> but the pillows. I don't know if you saw the edge yet. There's the edge. They're just more majestic when you take them on the edge. Look at my shadow. No one wants to see that. Gross. I like your shadow. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this song. It's like, we got what, 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 what. Spirit! <laughs> Did you ever do that at your nope. high school game? <laughs> nope, I didn't. You look confused as I start to sing, so <laughs> I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, here's the final setup. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. Here, point five. Look how beautiful. Love it. So it's like almost 6 a.m. It's 5.50. And after our photo shoot yesterday, I came home and I was changing and I felt like my water broke. <laughs> but it was just like a little trickle. And so I was like, did I pee? Did it break? But I, I swear I didn't pee, but maybe I did. So I let it go all night, but now my stomach is like hurting more and I feel like it might be contractions. So Drake and I are just gonna go to the hospital <laughs> and just check, just to be safe. They might send me home and think I'm crazy, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> so here we go. She's all gowned up. Look kind of like a mess. Okay. They just asked me a bunch of questions and got me all registered. Haven't done any tests yet to see. So we're not sure. Yeah, we're in deep. I thought this was going to be a all right, swab let's check. and send you home. No. They're very nice here, though. They're taking really good care of me. Out of water. I didn't ask for water, but she brought me water. She did. And I am like having little contractions, but not like crazy. Just little ones. I think. I don't know what I'm doing. But baby's heart rate is so good. Baby 
baby's heartbeat. What's the lowdown, sweetie? So they did a few tests and they were like not positive, I guess. It was like not amniotic fluid. Yeah, your pH was still acidic, acidic which means no amniotic fluid. The other test she did, but then now she's going to look under a microscope to see if it looks like thorny, which is a project, but. She did say that she, her gut feeling is that it's not ruptured and that I should be okay. So we shall see. I was kind of getting a little excited that maybe I can meet my baby, but she needs to keep growing a little bit longer if possible. I'm dressed. No baby today. False alarm. A little bit of a change of plans. We are at my doctor's after yesterday's little scare. We're gonna really get checked and see if I'm even dilating or anything. But they also said they want to do ultrasound to check our baby's bladder. Mm, I wonder. So I hope she's okay. But I hope so too. That's what we're gonna do. Check it out. See when the baby's coming. Mm. So I don't have any more panic attacks and go to the hospital. <laughs> Okay, update on our baby's bladder. I don't know why I'm crying. It's really not that severe, but I'm just like a little overwhelmed. So they basically just said her bladder is like enlarged, which is like a little concerning. So she called a specialist and the specialist is going to call me and hopefully I can get in tomorrow to see, to have an ultrasound so they can like check more in depth, like how big it is. Because their biggest concern is if I'm delivering her, her head could probably come out normal. But if her bladder is enlarged, then her stomach could be bulging. And then it wouldn't be able to make it through the delivery. So then I could, I might need to have a C-section. Which I don't want to have. But obviously I don't want my baby to get stuck. But it's just like about a... A bunch of what ifs because they haven't done tests so I'm trying not to like freak out too much but I'm just like nervous that she's not gonna be okay but like obviously she'll be fine but there's always like a risk you know and like I've never done this so I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm just kind of like overwhelmed and scared so yeah that's the update so they're gonna call me and then hopefully I can go tomorrow because we're going to drive up north and go see Drake's family tomorrow. So hopefully they can get me in before we leave and we can just have better news and like more information. And so I'm trying not to lose my mind. <laughs> so yeah. Crazy. <laughs> okay. After a few days of calling and calling, <laughs> I finally got in touch with the specialist that my doctor referred me to, to check on baby's bladder um, and just to see what our options are moving forward. So today, this afternoon, we are going to go to the specialist, get scans and see exactly what's going on and hopefully they give us more information and then we're hopefully going to be on track for baby. So thank you for the love and the prayers and the good vibes and everything. You guys are the best and I hope baby girl is okay. I'm a little more awake this time. <laughs> yeah, it's not 5 a.m. So we are here to see the specialist to check on baby's bladder. Hopefully we can record. We will ask. I don't, I don't think. Fingers crossed everything's okay. Yeah, seriously. Excellent. Goodness, what are we going to do with all these ultrasounds? Keep them forever, of course.
Our fridge is almost full. I know. So they got to see that she has hair. Mm. Now we just need to know what color the hair is. But we've got all the I've options. got hair. And she's definitely a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Drake. Yeah, We're okay. going to be outnumbered. But yeah, so they just did a whole bunch of measurements. And I'm 36 and a half weeks. And she's measuring like 36 weeks. So she's measuring normal. And they said that her bladder didn't look big. But they're going to, like, upload it all, and the doctor's going to look at it and then see. But hopefully it was just a false alarm, and she's okay. Whew. Whew. Crisis averted, everyone. It's Thank okay. Goodness. The specialist said that our baby just has a generous bladder. It's a little bit larger than normal. <laughs> I thought that was funny. He was, <laughs> he was a really good doctor. He just helped us calm down a little bit. Yeah, I was know that freaking was okay. out. Some tears were shed, some worry was had, but it's all okay. Yeah, it's fine. They're just like, yeah, no problems. We don't need to see you back here. She's yeah. great. Yeah. I was like, oh, thanks for freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we're just waiting. Only a few more weeks now! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little baby girl's gonna be here so soon. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> She's going to be so cute when we hold her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and from this experience, I, it's been really, really important for me to just, like, be where my feet are and be really excited about things that are coming. Right now, my life is just so crazy um, true. for lots and lots of reasons. But when I sit and think about holding our little girl for the first time, it's just like, oh, that's going to be such a nice moment of peace and relaxation. It gets yeah. me really excited. So I'm reminded to just make the most of what I've got and look forward to big things because that's what gets you through the hard stuff. I agree. I think also just knowing it's, you can be excited, but also like it's not going to go exactly how you plan and trying not to overreact when you get bad news. <laughs> I was trying so hard to like not lose my mind, but just enjoy what life is thrown at us and pregnancy hormones take get it <laughs> take it as it comes just keep going with life and just try to survive <laughs> mm -hmm. but we're glad you guys have joined us on the journey so far stay tuned all the best stuff is yet to come and remember life, life is, is out, out there, there so, so go live it we love you guys